Wow, that's, Michael, where to begin? <laughs> oh my I gosh. think with that director, director slot, yes. that's really interesting. Uh, there first was of all, a Ben, but it wasn't Ben Affleck. Yeah, not surprised. Ben Affleck, Ben Great Zeitlin. Ben Zeitlin. Uh, Beast, Beast of the, of the Southern, Southern Wild, which is the kind of little movie that could, came out of Sundance last year. Going into Sundance, I can tell you with assurance, nobody knew what the heck this movie was, had any idea about it. And then immediately after the first screening, everybody came around and said, you got to see this movie. Yes. And it's been rolling since then. Uh, but I think it's really exceeded my, my hopes for that film, which I really love. Jivanjani Wallace, uh, nominated for a Best yeah, Actress, little, who had never great, acted before. No, she was seven, six years old. Yes. Seven years but old. other than Affleck, no Catherine Bigelow as Best Director. No Catherine Bigelow, no Ben Affleck. I mean, that's a really huge uh, pair of surprises. And yes. Tom Hooper, not for as surprising, but also very, very disappointed. Yeah. Uh, he was just for nominated Universal. for the Director's Guild. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of had a rough road. It's like he was uh, Golden Globes, he was out, and then DGAs, he was in. But uh, this is a very surprising list, actually. Why do you suppose that is, that both Bigelow and, and Ben Affleck were not nominated? I, what, I think that the, that the controversy surrounding Zero Dark Thirty has been really damaging. Uh, the, the notion that this is a film that's, that's easy on terrorism is not something that's going to go down well with the membership of the Academy. This is a pretty liberal group. Mm -hmm. This is a group that was not very pro-George uh, w. Bush, okay. but also I think the film is long and it's slightly odd, and you know it it it, it yeah. it's offbeat, so people may ha just not have loved it. Uh, Lincoln got the most nominations. Yeah, Lincoln came in with twelve, which is not surprising, and that makes Steven Spielberg and the movie for best director and Lincoln for best picture the odds on favorite or not? I would say they are the favorites, although you have to look at Life of Pi right behind with uh, with Eleven. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Life of Pi has really no nobody to be nominated for acting. So, so um, Sally Field, Tommy Lee Jones, um, Danny Day-Lewis, those are three acting nominations for Lincoln. Who might be the favorite for Best Actress? We know who might be the favorite for Best Actor, Actor. Daniel Day-Lewis. Best Actress, Jessica Chastain and... I, I think it's still, you know, a toss-up between Jennifer, uh, Lawrence. Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence and Jessica Chastain. But I think that the, the, the weak showing by Zero Dark Thirty, only five nominations, and the stronger showing by Silver Linings with eight, uh, could really tip this toward uh, Jennifer Lawrence. And once again, it showed that Best Picture and Best Director don't always go hand in hand because Best Picture Argo was nominated, but that Best Director was not. Does yeah, that surprise but I think, you? Well, no, because Best Picture, we've got nine, we've got between five and ten mm -hmm. slots, right? Mm -hmm. So they've, they've given us nine nominees. But really, you're not going to win Best Picture if you don't have a nomination for Best, Best Director. So all the directors have been nominated no. for Best Picture. Are you surprised by Django? I am surprised. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not surprised by Django being in there for Best Picture. And uh, Best Director, not Best Director. He's not Best in for Picture. Best Director, which is what I expected. Actually. Who, is, who is the likely favorite for Best Supporting Actress? Best Supporting Actress is probably Anne Hathaway. That, that one, you can kind of engrave her name on the, on the statue at this And point. Best Supporting Over. Actor? Uh, best Supporting Actor, it's uh, I, I, Tommy Lee Jones is sort of the, the favorite, you know, Lincoln being uh, ahead in the count of nominations, he's certainly going to have a lot of momentum. I think there's some feeling that, that maybe Robert De Niro could I was going to say competing with Robert De Niro. Yeah, and it's been a long time since De Niro. He hasn't been nominated in, yeah. in 20 years or so. Is there a theme here? I think uh, the, the theme is that maybe some of these controversies yeah. really beat up movies. You know what I love is the fact that an 85-year-old and a 9-year-old got nominated for yes. Best Actress. How great is that? And Emmanuel Riva, Jivanjani uh, Wallace, I really hope people go out and see these movies, A More Beast of the Southern Wild. That's a great lift. Thank yes. you, Michael.